just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Comic Convos, and as always, it's great to see everyone, uh, especially Leo, and as always, giving a shout out to our patrons. First, I want to thank Susie Marie, Tyler Lockridge, uh, Kevin Schrute, Mikey Neve, and of course, Cy Kennedy, who joins us again tonight and is back on schedule. Great to see you, Cy. Saw you in the comments. Love you, man. It's great to see you. We're back in my place today because Izzy is actually here helping. Hey, everyone. Uh, otherwise, we'd be taking a break because uh, today, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, Leo had some stuff to do. So that's just the way it is. You know, things will never be the same. And I'm hoping that'll update. And if not, I think I'll have to bust out the laptop. Either way, I'm hoping everybody's here and that we can be heard and seen. I think we should be able to be. Although we're a little crooked, we're going to have to shift. <laughs> Do you want me to scoot over a little bit? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's bad. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah, better. Yeah. I, yeah, dude. Perfect. My bad. I, we, we, were, we set this up and then I fucked it up because I have to sit in that chair over there. And that's just the way it is, okay? Oh, I'm so glad today they actually fixed my internet today. They, uh, it was all messed up and now they fixed it and I'm happy. Super awesome reading Ultimate Fantastic Four right now, as you see. Gotta love that Marvel Unlimited. Alright. So, let's see... Oh, I wanted I see this video, but we're just gonna go to the page and look for some comments. Sorry guys, and welcome once again. There we go. Oh no, not what I wanted. In fact I wanna pause that. So Oh wow, just dropping in to say hi, currently watching the game. Good to hear, Tyler. I hope we win. We're gonna win. No hope. This <laughs> is <laughs> nah. we I don't even think we're playing tonight. I haven't been keeping up Who's with the games. We? Yeah, it's just the way it is. And uh just waiting to see some more comments, hopefully. I don't know if it's because our feed is slow or people aren't commenting, but I guess we'll just get into Here's the gist of tonight. That's a good idea too. I should have done that on my phone. And the gist of tonight is the gist of every night, which is comic, you know, movies, TV shows, and everything that's super green, super nerdy. Death Note, oh man. So, I've seen it, and uh, my, my opinion is an unpopular one, but it's also not the one you think it is. Well, but my thing is, it's, I, it was, if you're looking for 100% Adaption or even close to, terrible. Yeah, god are, awful and the most I awful wasn't look parody. To go the only that. the only redeeming factors we've talked about being uh, Ryuk as uh, who's Ryuk in this one? Defoe. William Defoe. Yep, Defoe. Defoe the man. But seriously, Defoe put on a staggering performance as Ryuk, especially considering it was really just voice. Yeah, and they didn't really show, actually now that I uh, think about it, they didn't really show his face, like really think about it. It was all dark all the time. All really the time. They, they showed him a couple times, but never like, like for too long, extended periods at all. And that's okay, because like I said, now here's the p unpopular opinion. I, looking at it from a thing, like, I immediately abandoned any notion of it being accurate when he got the Death Note and got beat up. Yeah, well, even when I seen the characters and I seen that they picked a black dacker for L, I was like, oh, right. I already know they're going to go away. They're, they're different in different Alex. directions, they're they're and that's different. fine. And taking it like that, I thought it was a decent movie. Not a good movie necessarily, but a decent movie, especially, like, the ending was not bad. I saw it coming. Yeah. But that was also good because it followed the kind of logical plot lines of the story you know what i mean it's like oh she did this so he did this so she did this so he did just, this whole elaborate thing i feel it should have been at least two hours though <laughs> rushed rushed a little rushed too much. for sure but you know what what one has it and we or talk at least, about at least maybe two parts and here's the thing at this point we've got to seriously wonder if animated live english adaptions well we still got uh, or even, tokyo uh 
school, right? And right, but I just that, uh, yeah, we'll full see. Full Metal right Alchemist, and I've already heard some good things. About right, but isn't Full Metal going to be too Japanese and then too English? I actually haven't really kept up. I just seen the trailer, okay. <laughs> and they that's, looked really good. <laughs> that's good. I think they're from. Japan. It was my first experience of Death Note. I've heard it's terrible compared to original, but I enjoyed it for what it was. The actual idea of it has me looking at original stuff for more. Yeah, the, and see, which I, is what I, I think yeah. is good for. So people um, who have never seen Death Note are like, oh, it's a piece of shit. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people now going to go watch the anime now because right, of the movie, right. which is good. At least yeah, now at least it's some exposure. Some more. It did attract and some more. Honestly, I think that as far as that one goes, hey, Leo's back. How's it going, Leo? I guess everyone left. We're here. Who's here? Roll call. I'm not here. It's like, okay, roll call done. But seriously, the the Death Note stuff was really great. I, as far as the self-contained miniature plot lines, like I loved the differences between, uh, what was it, Mia? Mia, and, Mia, uh, like, yeah, right. Felt... But even Mia in the that version versus me in the comic. They like, made that all look too much of a, a like a bitch, pretty much. In the, the even that one. scene, in the, even in the scene, I don't want to say too much. Where he's yeah, yes. the last scene. Or no, in the, the last, when he last meets scene, Ryuk, yeah. that scene. Oh, that scene, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a terrible scene. I didn't Definitely like that. Definitely terrible. <laughs> like I said, the, the, that, the, the base was, okay, and then it wasn't, I agree. I know it wasn't close to character, but that guy who played L was amazing for me. I agree. I liked the character. I thought he captured the essence of L without actually capturing the character of L. Especially his mannerisms. The eating of candy and like sitting in his desk, like those were very well. Yeah, see, L. I thought at least like the guy they picked for him played L pretty Definitely. good. Definitely, Light was not so much there <laughs> with his character. He was, yeah, I didn't. It was more Mia the whole time. I thought in that whole movie. I think so because he just had no strength in that movie. No, no there was direction. No strength, yeah, like there was no plot line without him either. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, we're just gonna lie low and get rid of the book. It's like, oh, well, movie's over. His, they never yeah, find him because they have no idea where the fucking book is. I just didn't care for him too much. He, that actor really ruined it for me. I thought he was not a great portrayal of L, or not L, uh, Light. Light. And, in, and, and, but then again, his character wasn't designed to be, they have him getting beaten up by bullies, they have you know what I mean? Not really something Light does, so it's, they didn't make him smart. He wasn't no, he wasn't very smart. There wasn't like I don't know. He's that was the enough, thing about but... Death Note was that you know there was that you know that tension between Light I, and L. That what I time. did like, and there wasn't that tension in this. Um, no. It was more of like, oh, you killed my my uh, my butler. No, <laughs> oh, my butler. No. Then, yeah, it was it was too much. <laughs> it's definitely, um, you know, moving on from talks about that to what our main topic is tonight which is it which you know has been made, remade and is released tonight technically yeah it came, it's coming out tonight i've seen a lot early of ones. uh yeah. yeah three o'clock showing seven o'clock showing so it pretty much came out today yeah I mean, <laughs> which is funny because we're actually really supposed to come out tomorrow but now they, they the do. way it works now yeah. yeah it does but at least it's cool to have sometimes like a preview and from all like current things like it is actually doing really well everybody's happy about it the actor seems a bit eccentric too. I watched a few interviews. He's surprisingly not far off in real life. I'd never heard of him before. Yeah, I've never seen that guy before him. either. He was just kind of a. You, all right, you know what? Let's brainstorm. What character could that guy play in the comic or whatever? Any you know anime, set from universe, the fan multiverse. That's what I'm gonna call it. Which is staggeringly large. If anyone has any ideas for that guy, like what he can do, <laughs> I'm trying to think, but. You know who he would play well, in my opinion? Kite Man. <laughs> I never there's a really character called Kite Man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Kite Man is like, he's about as dumb as he sounds. It's okay. I definitely gotta be able to see these videos. Okay, let's go to this and see. Yeah. All right. That's what I have to do. Sorry, guys, just making sure. That's fine. I got Mikey now. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, ideas for who? So, right now, Mikey, we're looking for ideas for the guy who played L, not L, Light, in the uh, Death Note English live action adaption. Yes. <laughs> a lot of descriptors there that I have to get right. Okay, anyway. Seriously, it, uh, that is the one for me, and I, I, don't, I don't have any ideas. Because I got sidetracked. 
No, but yeah, if anything, Kite Man seen, but just the most recent portrayal I've seen of Kite Man and Batman. The current Batman run has him as like this really just sad character. Like he's crazy kind of, but he's just also really sad. <laughs> and that's also what I got from that light was he's just like, no, poor me. Bro, my problems like yeah. You gotta trick people in the end, but still. Are we getting a really poor quality or something? I think it might just be yours. Mine's just playing pretty good on my phone. I'm also actually paused. I forgot about that. Or I should be paused. No, I am paused. It's just giving me like screenshot updates. Waiting for ideas. All right, no more waiting. Yeah, it's working pretty good. Not really paused. No. Well, yeah, that's, that's all right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, see. Might be spiking. That's fine. Might just be your, your your connection. I'm also probably. Oh yeah, there's Wi-Fi connection. Shit, back here. <laughs> I forget about that all the time. Well, at least the comments are coming oh, in live. Or at... No new comments though, which is fine. Uh, you know, like I said, we're we're, we're gonna try to move into the main topic, which is it and its good reviews and what we really thought so far of like the trailer which we could also try to play i tried not to sh watch too many trailers because i didn't want to ruin it too much for me i don't think they put too much in there for me especially since it seems like it's really close to like a re not like an entire remake but just like the visuals seem very very similar mm -hmm. and they might be updated but they're going to be very reminiscent of the classic does it look like it's supposed to, they're they're playing it in the 80s Yes and no. It's kind of that retro 80s thing. You yeah, because I mean? uh, in that the book orange. it's supposed to be in the 50s, but uh, I think yeah, they're trying to go for that 80s era. Yeah, well, it's because they go for like the what is considered the older times era, which for apparently for right now in 20 almost 20, but 20 the almost. 80s. Yep, it's which the 80s. is a pretty good era though. Well, that's 40 years ago, and it was a good era. I really enjoyed the music from the 80s. I liked. Styles from the 80s, the ideas from the 80s. Music was good. Music was good. Punk lived <laughs> and died. Yeah, I'm really excited quickly. for it. It looks <laughs> super good. The character design is spot on from the book. Even Stephen King himself has seen it and he said that this is a perfect uh, representation. Yeah, for that's the book. awesome. Though. So I'm, I'm really it's supposed to be the first part too, and they've already uh, said that they're gonna start filming for the second part soon. Nice, that's really. Which awesome. is supposed to be like them being the older parts of them, right? Instead of them being the littler kids, which is the first one's gonna be about, but right because it's the classic remake, and then they're gonna do the update, which is cool because they're doing the 27 years thing, which I always thought was really good. Oh yeah, we're I can actually see our feet here. I'm steady 36. So. Thank God the internet got fixed. <laughs> oh, dude, I was fucking dropping 700. What's, uh, what's your company? CenturyLink. Oh, okay. But they oh, it was right. just a line, and they oh, ran it. Right. So. But uh, I'm glad it's back now. What do you think of the, the, the costume design? I thought it was really good. My thing, and this is my biggest problem, is visuals are good for me. I like visuals for me. Visuals in a movie are important. They're stimulating. They help the story flow. But as far as like powerful imprinting, kind of like well, I've cool heard, stuff, uh, sound is important for me. So I've, I've heard uh, Bill. I think his name's first name's Bill. Because I can't even say his last name. Because Gargi or something. Because Gargi. <laughs> I love it. But uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I heard his performance is really good. That's good. I've heard similar. Like I've heard really good things about this, and I'm excited. Oh, it looks fine. There we go. Okay, now we're getting. I'm getting stuff. It's gonna be on my list of movies to watch. No idea. I'm not running my Death Note. Love watching that. I'm not ruining. Okay, got, I figured. Uh, ideas for who? <laughs> okay, so there's Mikey. Looks fine. It's definitely gonna be on my list. Sweet. All right. So now I can see hopefully the updated comments. And if not, we will eventually see the comments. I probably could put them up over there too, but they'd be harder to see. We'll see how they work right here. For now, though, we'll just keep talking. Like I think, like I said, I, I love character design stuff, and I think they look good. So for me, those are good things right now. But I need sound. I want to hear how this, it's going to be sounding. And so far, seems good. Seems like they got all the good audio. They got the 
dialogue kind of basically where they need it to be. Mm -hmm. The kids are spot on too. Definitely. Uh, hey, thank you for the like on the video, Corey. Pre really do appreciate it as well to you, AJ Harmon. And uh, thanks to everyone who's watching. Really, really do appreciate all the love you're sharing. Well then. Yeah, I can't wait. Tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're going. Uh, we would go tonight, but I have work in the morning. So <laughs> tomorrow we will go and it'll be some amazing. More likes. more likes from Cy and Mikey. Hey, <laughs> thank you. The statistics boost. Now, like, now I can level up. To, to, to my second to final form <laughs> my penultimate form until they give me a mega no I'm just kidding like everybody else so besides it what are we excited about which has recently come out or is coming out you know as we keep going this year I don't think there's anything left in September really that's no, gonna be no so that was the only thing I was excited for was it uh, was this September and then October. Ooh, October. We got some some lot of scary movies coming. Out. I think we got Jigsaw. We got uh, which I'm just so there's so many of them now. Yeah, but it, I think it took a nice long break, like because they have to. You know, if you think about it, those ones were coming in one after the other. They were. <laughs> but my thing is, what the last one was so and bad. The quality these like, were the getting just really bad. Or some and, bull crap. But this one, yeah, they're not, uh, they're not even calling it Saw. They're calling it Jigsaw. That's cool. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Maybe they'll give us a prequel and we'll be amazed again or something. I don't know. It's gonna be hard. Like I I felt like the first two or three were pretty decent. Like the first one always. Being oh, the first the one was really good that was actually tight treat that was james wan's uh the one who directs insidious now and he did all oh, the other yeah. ones that was his first movie wow really oh we got some more comments work in the morning Pff, what kind of respectable adult willingly works in the morning look sir just because you get to work one week at a time and then take a week off is not my no one's business but i'm telling them <laughs> <laughs> when is the Punisher 2017? Right. Yes, that's what they said. So I'm is hoping it really supposed to come out. That's this what year? they keep saying. They keep saying 2017, bro. That's a lot of uh, Marvel movies to think about. Cause did Iron Fist come out this Dude, year? They had so much. All right, let's let's look at Marvel releases this year. Releases in 2017. And now including Inhumans and else. so that's no 2017. Well, we'll just do a full schedule and then do 2017. Yeah. So we had Inhumans, which came out. Thor. Yeah, we have Thor and we have Black Panther comes out next year. Yeah, we I think we're done for this year, but th 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 I don't know why it's no, not showing. No, but there was yeah a lot that came out this uh, year. Yeah, we're not. It's not. Which all we got? Spider Man. On. We got a lot of and stuff. And I feel like Iron Fist came out this month too, like at the beginning of the month. I don't think it was this month, but yeah, it was no, like in January. I feel like it no, came even out. later no. than that. Or no, yeah, maybe later. March. March. Yeah, I want to say March. March or April. April? Maybe, April. maybe even April, but I think it was March. This is not that old, right? No, it's not that old, but it's not that young either. So that would make Iron Fist that came out this year, and then Defenders just came out. And then the Luke Punisher. Luke Cage, I think, also came out this year. No, Luke Cage did come out, I think, last year. Did it? I thought it came out really early this year, late last year, maybe November. Yep. Um, Netflix Marvel shows release. Yes, he was 2016. So it's see, just Defenders, last year. Iron Fist. Yeah, see, Iron Thor. Fist did come out this year. I knew Iron Fist, Fist did. And then Humans, Spider-Man. They had a new season of Shield. And yeah, then they're gonna a have lot Punisher. Of the, uh, things have been coming yeah. out with compared to you know DC. Any, compared to f who else can I mean, even? DC only came out with what Wonder Woman, and uh, now they're gonna come out Justice League. Well, they had some animated stuff though, which which well, they always do. Which Marvel stuff. always lacks on though, and yeah. I always gotta call them on it because they need to up the game. <laughs> they're finally put, putting back. You in didn't work. like the which one was the one I liked? Uh, the one where it's Iron Man, I think, versus Hulk. Yeah, but now it's older. Kinda, yeah, that was That's the thing. Good, that, that, but I don't think it was released Deadpool. this year though. <laughs> I don't think that one was released this year, though. That's the thing. Oh, no, I think that was Wolverine versus the Hulk, I think. Maybe that was it. I, I can't know. remember. Here, let's see what uh, Marvel animated movies. 
Yeah, I can see what you mean, though. They do slack. Like I just wish they'd do more. They have so much money, and it's such a big market. They market more towards, you know, children. But, you know, DC but does market such, towards such children, too. But there's such a great too. way to do, too. They do, but they also give adults some show, love, too, which Marvel needs to do, do better. What the... F All right. Yeah, better. see... But I don't know when these are from. Then these are. You know, Plant Health was actually pretty good, uh, spot on. For they're like they're the good. Like, the ones they do are, it's not like they're bad, but they're just in between. Like, that's 2010 that came out. So let's see the most recent one being Big Hero 6. Which was pretty good, but it was, you know, free market. We'll even do Avengers. Children. I think that was actually not even the movie. And that's not even, like, the Avengers main characters. I think this is the most recent one is Avengers Confidential. Which is 2014. I've never seen that one. I think I have, or maybe watched a bit of it. Some of them are not as great. I don't think that one's yeah, like but awesome. Like the one I like from uh, which was right, Let's see, Marvel Animation. Okay. Um, where's Darren? Oh, we do have Marvel Anime currently running in Japan a bunch, but that's a little different. Yeah. I don't really consider okay, that. Okay, Hulk, well, mo Where Monsters Dwell 2016. Yeah, I watched that with my son. Yeah, that was the was, last. And it was all right. It wasn't, you know. And that was 2016, so they have zero 2017 animated releases, unfortunately. Slacking. The one I did like from DC a lot, I think, was called the Arkham Asylum one. Which yeah. Was, that one was good. I did like, when is Punisher ready up? It will either be October or November for Punisher. I agree. Yeah, probably November. Hi, I haven't seen you guys in a while. Hi, Brandon Davidson. Sorry it took a while. We were looking up stuff. Cage was late 2016. Yep, still have to catch up on S.H.I.E.L.D. actually. Uh, I do as well. Rise of the Technovores Some... forever oh. holds a place in my heart. Oh, yeah, we got Rick and Morty back next week. Yeah, because they did yeah, take they a break took a, from they Rick took, I was looking for it, and I was like, oh, I don't have it because yeah. it didn't come on Well, this they week. did mention it at the end They of the did, episode, I know, I but I was like, <laughs> see you in two weeks, episode. Or people was like, yeah. Was it two weeks? I thought it was just one week they are going to take or, Well, yeah, but that's like two weeks oh, okay, from true, that day. Yeah, true, true. Time. Yeah. That's like, but uh, seriously, the, the the episodes have been great on Rick and Morty. Maybe I think this season's been hands down the best season that they did. Really. I think it is. I also feel like they're going into like a deeper place. Yeah, that's what I feel like they're doing. But be, by doing that, it's much less kid friendly. Like no, ch no one who's like under the age of like 15, 14 will k even be able to half relate with the show. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be really difficult unless. You, their parents well there's our people who could go through some of it but so a lot of it's just going to be so but it is a really good show and yeah. it's a smart show yeah they, it's the writing and in it, there is good it's and good the, writing and the pickle rick pickle you know, rick you would think that would be like the most dumbest episode ever but the way they handled that that episode was like yeah okay you guys are good yeah you did good <laughs> and like it was still funny and it was still touching there was, was like but smart. the thing was that there was a whole point to like him being the whole turned, thing yeah exactly to him being turned into right but that's but that's exactly my point it wasn't just random yeah random nonsense yeah yeah which is what we get on most my, yeah, anime most, shows. Yeah. and the the thing is like he, the simpsons i mean but the simpsons have i've been getting mm -hmm. different uh yeah, well, and a lot because of last last season i have been watching keeping up i watched and it was getting more and, serious and the thing is it's not like other shows don't have a thing, but the Rick and Morty is just very relatable, and also they try to make it very emotional, which I think a lot of other shows try to stay away from. Like, there's a lot yeah. of emotion in a Rick and Morty that you won't get in a lot of other family shows that are sometimes, like, cringy or sometimes, like... It's just one of those things, like... I And I really like it and respect that maybe it is or is not the best thing because I've heard a lot of comparisons between it and other shows, and it's like you kind of got to leave things in their different perspective places like mm -hmm. Rick and Morty is great but they're gonna there's going to become a point where we have to find some meeting or conclusion or like you, do you think I think I mean, it does because if you continue going, but that's exactly my point you either stay Rick and Morty or you kind of compromise to do what I think well, a lot see, of TV like shows that's what South on. Park is already doing if you've already seen how they've that's switched true. from like remember when they first started out they were always just nonsense like you know just whatever uh, butthole right. jokes basically and uh now they've turned into like now each episode is a continuation of the first of the first right. episode now it's not like you know the first episode uh, one episode was just whatever and the next episode just whatever it's and true they have i will been... say though i don't know how much their like viewership has been expanding because they do stay one the cool thing about rick and morty is they 
they continue to like break down even their own walls that oh, yeah. in new directions. Yeah, Whereas South Park has been they address new <coughs> topics and topical stuff, and, and yeah, that's, and that's the I other like. thing about South Park. Which I like. Right. And, that's and, the, and you know what? Actually, that's what we can look forward to, too. I think this month is South Park. I think it comes true. out this month. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check some comments. Nothing will ever be as crimby as Watamote. Oh, my God, yeah. I thought you didn't watch Family Guy, too. Yes, yeah, see just not really prank call Joylin Austin's church is Rick Hilarious. I did see that. It was awesome. It was uh, very funny. They're like, hey, I need, a, I need to talk to Joel Austin. I got, I got, a, I got a, like eighty-two thousand three hundred sixty-four dollars. <laughs> Basically, just. I like, think that's what I was gonna be this year for Halloween. Was Rick? Maybe. Nice. We'll see. I know I Mikey know. is being god doom, and he said it's gonna cost him about four hundred bucks between all the material and stuff. Oh, wow. So I'm excited. Send pictures. We'll see if we can get a collection going or something. <laughs> We're fun this shit. No, we have to do something with the budget besides send out comic books. Cause where did we leave off on South Park with the oh yeah the mm. principal being the new uh, uh, what's his name uh, the one that was like a frat kind of oh guy. yeah it's like all about you know not uh, picking on people and yeah it's like PC principal oh yeah there we go yeah that's a, a PC principal <laughs> I think uh, that we there we even I mean he's he's still there though isn't yeah he, he is he didn't leave now he's back for the next season because cool. they made it that now he won't leave now he's uh. So I think the original principal said she was done or something. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there, was there was a whole thing. And they, they did a whole lot in the middle of that where it was like, did you delete my thing? No, I didn't. That, that was, was good, though, with the, uh, remember, you remember. remember. <laughs> oh, my God, they're racist berries. That was, like, <laughs> that was good. Those are good. They were pretty the funny. The remember berries will come back, too, this season, I think. I think they will, and they'll be good. I, I'm hoping, like I said, that everything that's coming out this year will hopefully counter all the negativity that's going on in real life oh yeah comic books need it although i will say like i said there was a pretty decent conclusion to secret uh empire which is hopefully leading and i thought i think generations is going okay it's not great necessarily but some uh, of them are pretty the decent the only one i still told you i haven't read was uh hot the hawkeye generation well i just came out with iron man now and then yeah i still have to pick that one up this month i'm i'm slacking on some reading that i I'm mean it's a, the only reason i get to it is because of things <laughs> but i <laughs> think but uh Honestly, people, remember, you can always sign up for a subscription service to catch things. It's not always the day of, but you'll get stuff. And uh, <coughs> it's good stuff. I, I think the new stuff coming out now, though, after Secret Universe or Empire is what I'm looking forward to. Especially well, we think we Legends. Got, uh, I think Legacy comes out this yeah, month. Yeah, so we'll see how that... That's a, supposed to be a 60-page... Uh, or no, I want to say more, like an 80-page... No, really maybe it's like a 60-page book. I can't remember, but yeah, it's supposed to be a big uh, one shot. Nice, nice. So I'm really looking forward to it because to, you know, lay down the groundwork for their new. Also, novel. how did you feel about the thing at the end of Secret Empire with that involved generations? It was good. I thought it was. It was like, uh, like you said, it was predictable though, because like I already kind of figured out that's how it was gonna. I be, did too. Who, I was like, where else? That's would where it, be? it was, and that's but how. But the it, thing is, I thought that they did a good job. I like they were trying really hard not to give it away in the in the generation comics. They were like, all right, let's not tell people exactly what the fuck's going on, because yeah, they kept saying, you know, well, yeah, how like when I is this here? going on? Where was I? Yeah, I was just here, and then yeah, and those. Yeah, it was good. They were, you know, they tried to keep it. It was creatable, but uh, like I said, we still saw some concepts we like to see, and there were cool things. Like I said, I liked the reveal on the Hydra Hammer. I, I, yeah, I Hail liked, uh, I liked uh, Hydra. Uh, <laughs> not to lie, I, I liked, liked, liked the, the Hydra, Hydra Hammer. <laughs> 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 it that was, was, that was the sweet good looking. Sweet. Yeah, it looked cool, too. So good. But I, I'm looking forward to more stuff coming. Uh, there was also some recent stuff that came out, like... Uh, well, didn't that uh, Venomverse come out? Yes, the first Venomverse came out too. That was I awesome. Read that one yet. So nice. So in, they like the only thing I'm I feel like is they needed better names, but we'll figure that out. I don't know if it's gonna stick like it did with uh, the Spidey verse. I don't know either. The thing is, they're bringing in good popular characters, which is good. the The enemy seems decent. They needed a better name, in my opinion, but it was still decent. I mean, telling you the name won't change anything. They're called the Poison. Okay, yeah, so you have to see what it's going to be about. Yeah, because I have to catch up with that. But it was, yeah, it was definitely... 
Yeah, I'm excited to read that one because that came out this week too, didn't it? Yes, Wednesday. Like most things come out around Wednesday ish. Yeah, it's every Wednesday. Co- new comic book Wednesday. Yep. And uh, there was a ton of stuff. I'm trying to remember all of them. I don't al- always read all of them. There's a couple I haven't been keeping up on, so I just kind of let them. <laughs> Have you been keeping up with Black Hammer? I have, but the, uh, the newest one I might be behind on. That one too, I think. I didn't like the most recent one because it was just kind of like backstory, and I was like, get the what I wanted to see was they were just getting the good shit. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I know that one was kind of like a dull uh, issue right there. It really, it was a cool like, you know, the actual spirit of whatever, but yeah. it's just like not worth. Some more background. I think I'm kind of reload for your comments probably close some stuff but I want to read Ultimate Fantastic Four no nope I guess not I don't know that's all right. either way we keep talking <laughs> we keep talking <laughs> uh, but in addition to that I think there have been some pretty cool games coming out or at least on the verge of coming out now we just had Destiny release me and Izzy both still haven't got it. I'm going to get it and then be in the weekend. Friday. Probably. I'll yep. have to have my say on that one. Um, <laughs> I haven't really been looking on the reviews for that. I mean, I've been seeing the posts coming my out. My thing you know, is, my it's one of those about. ones for me that I can't pass up doing because of the stream stuff. Like, even if it's shit, the stream stuff's going to be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, just, I still have to check it out. Cause, uh, the funnier part is that I didn't play a lot of the original Destiny, so I'm going to be going to this one. It's going to be like... Well, you don't. Yeah, it's, it'll be I know fine. they'll you be. They'll yeah, make it's it. Literally they just, do it. Yeah. They made it for like everyone. That's where some people were kind of pissed. Like some veteran players are like, "Well, fuck! I can't take my old weapons now with me now to the new game." No, you couldn't do that in any game. And basically, the well, that's the thing ever. though. They had they had marketed it as like a ten year. A game that it was going to keep, you know, evolving and evolving and evolving for ten years. But that was that. W- you know, they lied to us about that whole thing. You know, and it was never achievable, anyways, because there's very they, few games they had. That, they had, and built. honestly, an evolvable game. I mean, maybe an, uh, an adapting game. And it did. It did like, I'm not gonna lie. It did evolve. Um, Destiny One is it changed from day one till the very end that I kept playing. It's it wasn't the same game that I first played. It literally changed that much from day one, but which they even call at the beginning of it. They call it Destiny Vanilla, because it was like, you know, like almost like the beta version still of it, which is still funny. But yeah, it it was a good game. I enjoyed it, and you know, the fun thing was doing the raids. The raids are the most funnest That's about good. it. The uh, yeah, getting getting together with five players. I think now they're gonna add now to eight players. Now That's gonna be awesome because I, I have think. a huge amount of people that I gotta get running on my streams and stuff and when that I do was I one need... thing people are mad about was like fire teams are too small mm. so yeah that that's an improvement there there are some things I I did play the beta and but the beta was <laughs> it's kind of funny too because the beta was different too because they only the first one that they gave us when we first had destiny first beta they gave us more to play with but then when this destiny 2 beta came out there was only like two I think they only gave us like a, a mission and then we could do online play like crucible mm. f- uh, fighting player f- versus player and that was about it not I as see, much that's, it's not yeah so i can re- you know i couldn't really say how i mean i seen some things and there was a lot of things locked mm. so i couldn't you know really that's not always sucks when there's locked stuff and I, the other thing is the things about today is, is pay to play which is like and yeah that's the one thing i seen that was kind of negative reviews is that there's a lot of microtransactions mm. in this uh Thing which, uh, you know, I, I don't care if it's like for cosmetic stuff, but then when right, it, but then when it's for enhancements or which like, it kind of is, they said there was there were some loot drops in there with the, uh, but I, you know, we'll see. At least it's not for like legendary stuff, hopefully, and like you know, exotic weapons or, or anything or main stuff, which would be really shitty. Yeah, so the we'll see. I like I said, I still got to pick it up believe, on Friday. I believe see. in them. Skip D two and get PUBG. Uh, but why? Why PUBG mad Destiny 2? I couldn't be more ready for PUBG on console, which is public, or no, what is it, uh, Players Underground. Oh, you were talking about that Battleground? Ba- oh, that's what it's like. Okay. Yeah, that one I'm excited for, too, it's coming out for Xbox. I kind of want to try that. So maybe I'll get that. Well, i got to figure out which system to get all my stuff on. Well, in Destiny 2, this still doesn't come out till October, I think, for PC. 
Yeah. Probably takes a while. Which uh, I think I'm getting it for Xbox, though, because one, that's where it's supposed to be at. Yeah. And two, I think most of the people who I would play with are going to be on there, too. On there, too. Okay. Yeah. Which is me. Yeah. You, and then uh, <laughs> probably my cousin Zach, and then this yeah. scrub nubbin Mikey, if he gets on. Yeah, you guys should really hop on. Like I'll good. be on there on Friday. I'm I'm just waiting to get some cash. I think I'll there. probably do that as my stream on Saturday, but I'll do Friday. I'll play and just get, yeah, kind of get the hang of it. Wait, record some. Wait, I was like, ah. Terrence Milburn, Players Unknown play. Battleground is overrated. I got D2. It's pretty good so far. Good to know, Terrence. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Terrence Bodine, I hope is, I pronounced it right. Is it overrated? Yeah, see, you know. I've heard that it's good, but like it's one of those things like if you like pvp it's good because that's all it is is players fighting if to my understanding well i thought well, so, well from what i've seen i thought it was like a survival kind of game and like you said and then like you're kind of like rpg style it reminds me of uh what's that once uh god damn the one where the, the japanese one they made a manga and a, a anime and a tv show about it where they like take the kids and they have to like kill each other on the island yeah and they were in, i in, always no, forget the name battle royale Battle Royale. I've heard that name. But they had one in Amer in Engl or America too. Okay, that's why that probably sounds familiar. Yeah, they have a version of it everywhere basically, but I think it started in Japan, or at least that's the one I know best. Uh, so it might not be that we still. Have, it just takes on what on Batum. Batum's pretty good. Yeah, it's basically like Batum, from what I understand. You just get dropped and get ordnance and then kill each other. And then you go to save zones and not save zones and kill each other. <laughs> and then you kill each other. Holy nothing. <laughs> I like that stuff though. It's fun. But you gotta be have teammates to play with and then it's one of those things where you gotta like really like that specific one. I feel like. Uh, and on what? P no wait, not PC. Xbox One Mo. Oh, you know what else comes out on Xbox One that I'm excited for is that game. Cuphead. I don't know if anybody's heard of that game. I Cuphead. Think I have. It's uh it's like this <laughs> weird ret not retro even it's just like 1950s style art that they did in the game oh yeah that's that's was that the one i saw a commercial and it's for it. finally coming out i mean we they they told us about this game like two years ago yeah that's what i remember from the thing is at least a year <laughs> and it was the funny thing is like it's an indie game and like you wouldn't think like but, but they I mean, are doing it all by hand like you but said, yeah i think too the, the thing art. that was that was hard yeah like you said it was hard was that it was something they would never done before like a this retro 1950 like how do you kind of do that well like and i like, said it wasn't just that but i think they talked about it the whole thing was being drawn by hand too they weren't mm -hmm. rendering yeah, i heard that too which that would take I, mean, I don't think, think you. Could, I don't think you could have rendered it because then it would, the the thing the, is, if they they would have lost that effect that they got. Yeah, from it's it. really hard to make things look old. because yeah, they it like if you, play, if you look at the trailers, this game looks like it came out in the 1950s. <laughs> Xbox or time 1920s. It's even. like the calling if you've heard of that, which is just a survival PvP. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. FIFA 18 though, lol. I can't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in the sport games either. Yeah, I, I would say remember. it was sorry, but it isn't even. I don't even play football or baseball games anymore on anything. I just enjoy RPG games a lot. Mobas, I like. MMOs. MMOs, which is what Destiny was kind of being. There's or a supposed to be in the first. You know, that's another thing too about Destiny is like they marketed as this big old MMO, and there was like. Wasn't a whole lot to go anywhere really. Like, I mean, it's I think people kind of expected it to be like World of Warcraft, but like, is, can't you kind of go explore you, a lot? Yeah, there? you can. It's I've like never limited, personally played. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of them. There's some, you know, it's not like Lost Sky where you can just go to a million, billion dumb planets. Not like but Skyrim, where Skyrim is. Skyrim is pretty big too. Pretty yeah, big, yeah. It's a big Minecraft event. is the biggest, obviously, but yes. They've already with far. looting going up and <laughs> it's so dumb. They had to talked about it now. At this point, the average Minecraft world is like three times the size of the actual world in real world comparison stuff. So it's like how many people are making worlds and destroying them entire world. No, it's like I can't believe the people that spend their time in creating some of the things almost two years. I've seen like I saw a few the Futurama uh, laboratory. Oh really? Yeah, okay. some of them the next cool. is so cool. I've seen uh, a full functional iPhone. Oh in my wow! God. Have you seen that? No, that's you've so never dumb. seen that before. No. I swear to you, he literally uh, made like a, he built an antenna. I don't know how they did it. I guess they just built it in the game somehow. 
and yeah, he like had to build antennas, right, to like be these cell towers, and like, oh my and then he like pushed. It was like a big giant phone, like really big, and he was like pushing the buttons, and he literally made a call, and it was like a video call too, and it was like all pixelated and stuff, and I was like. Okay, that's a little oh, ridiculous. Geez, that's <laughs> crazy. They they can do some crazy stuff, and I've seen people make some insane stuff. Okay, I enjoy PvP. I'm back on Ark Survival Evolved. Worth a shot if you haven't tried. I would like to try. Ark is good. Ark okay. was good when it first Can't came out, the but expansion. then Ragnarok was decent. But this new expansion looks like a whole new game. Uh, I definitely want to check it out. I've heard really good reviews about it, pretty much all around. I don't think I've heard too many bad reviews at all, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I wanted to get Ark, but I've heard, you know, it has its downsides and its upsides. Every game does, though. Because yeah. I did it try to play... It can't be as bad as I didn't like the fact... No, I didn't like the fact that, you know, you, uh... That, you know, as soon as you start off, you're all... You're butt naked. Well, not butt naked, but you're like... You, just you got started, nothing! You got nothing on. You're done. And then as soon Aberration as, looks great. Oh, that's the new Ark. And movies. as soon as you wake up, you're already... Crazy and it's like, oh, oh, fuck! I gotta build a fire already. I'm gonna die. And then like, I'm dying. It was, it felt like it was too quick, you know, like uh, okay. going back to cold you should tr- and like. Oh. I think I was probably not playing it the right way. Like I was you trying to find even clothes. The thing like, is, it's very similar from what I've heard to when I played. I kind of wanted to say it was like Minecraft, but like involved dinosaurs. <laughs> Pretty much, and that's basically the same as the other one I p- play, which is uh, Seven Days to Die, and it's just Minecraft with really oh, so tough zombies. Again? Oh, okay. That's well, it's also got, like, super realistic, like, human interactions. So you, like, have thirst and hunger and overheating. And, okay. And uh, you can't... If you get... If you jump too far, you hurt your leg, and then you have to walk slower because your leg's sprained. And, like, uh, if you die... Oh, or you, wow. If There's you get hit a by a zombie, of, uh, you get infected, and you have to get, like, antibiotics or some oh, sort of It's a big survival they actually game, ju- Oh, yeah. And they actually just added... Electricity. The thing is, though, they've been—it's been out for like four years or something. It's still an alpha. They refuse to change. They just keep adding stupid shit. You know which game I wanted to try? Have you ever heard of this game called Good Neighbor? Oh. The the only reason why I know about this too is because my son. He's into like, uh, uh, like all the other kids nowadays who just watch YouTube videos now. Kids playing video games. I like. I don't understand. It's like well, you could be playing, but you're here watching. I do sometimes, <laughs> but I I watch while I stream usually. I wish I could get my audio output to the secondary, because then I would like have my headphones have like my like a stream I'm watching, and then or music that I like, and then I'd have the stream have its own music, and it's in. <laughs> well, my son watches this one guy called FGT, um, I guess, and he has a uh, he's playing this game called Good Neighbor. It's basically like a. Uh, you're supposed to, and it's coming for the Xbox One now because it's, oh, like, it's, uh, it's still in alpha mode. So our beta, I think. A lot of those things just stay alpha and, and beta uh, now so they can evolve. Yeah, and, uh, for free, but basically, basically you were supposed to find something in the house. I can't remember a key or something to oh, go geez. into his basement or something. And uh, as soon as you walk in the house, he's like, you're having to run and everything and kind of like distract him because he's like, the AI is kind of smart in there. Like, you have to watch some demos of it. Oh, I'll have to uh, check it out. It and it learns too, like the second time you go through, if you do the same exact thing, oh, it's gonna know exactly that you're doing the same exact thing. Oh, so geez. it learns upon your your first uh, trials and then keeps. Yeah, so that's I was like, cr- that's pretty I hate good. AI, man. AI is so fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, he's gonna go. Right. All right, he's gonna go left. All right, so lol, every sandbox survival game ever, ever. Agony looks dope. Two seventy days to die was great as well. Agreed. That Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom battle, though, it's a dope RPG. Really, I'll have to check that. I really like uh, the Rabbids, too, so. Uh, it just came out in full release. Feels a lot better to play. That's exactly it, Izzy. It's a damn grind. Yeah, you see, he's talking about the arc survival. Work on a PvP server can be destroyed in seconds. That's the exciting part, though. Yes, I don't know is. if that's exciting for me. It is a grind, yes. Arc survival well, is a well, grind. Well, off to work. <laughs> have a good night, everyone. See you later, Mikey. Have a good night later. at work. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about a lot of games and stuff. I think uh, that we... We can move on to uh, Thor. Oh, I, f- I even forget about that. It's coming up pretty quick now, huh? It's really around the corner, if you think about it. We just yeah, got November. October. Well, yeah. September a little bit, but this will come by fast. It's We're already almost halfway through. It's the 7th. Yeah, it's really already the 7th. I can't believe ah, it. I'm geez. like, wow. 
I know, dude. Time so keeps on it's skipping. By, skipping. I feel like as we grow older, the time goes a little bit quicker. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Like I like I looked up and it was like September. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Didn't I? Did but you know, time it travel does, it does bring some cool things that come in. You know, it is. It and is. I feel like there's a lot of things always to look forward to now. Like oh yeah, there's like, always you know, new stuff that like, which is one of those things that, like they're keeping you distracted. But it's fine. I like being distracted. <laughs> Oh, what do we got here? New Thor trailer just dropped, didn't it? Oh, I didn't see it. I think it did. I didn't I, I'm gonna see go it, watch though. this. I haven't seen it either. New Thor trailer. September. What would that make it? Like number four? New trailer number four? The thing is, like, if it's like Spidey, it won't really ruin the movies. You know, Spider Man was good, but like. It wasn't uh, that it great. It wasn't that great. No, it was, what, maybe seven or eight? I mean, it was better than that the, amazing Spider Man that they did. I thought. I think so too. I like I said, I rank it pretty high still. It's just it wasn't as like the greatest Spider Man ever, probably. We've talked about that still probably belongs to Spider Man too. I like Spider Man too. It was a really good it was a secondary appearance. Uh, you know, it really helped a lot. And wasn't Sandman in that one too? Yes, he was. No, no, no. No, no, he, he came out in three. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. came out in three. That was, I think that was way too many villains. See, the that thing was is, the other thing. Too the many thing villains is, does yeah, not they, help. Yeah, when they try to do too many villains, you I know, think they did it, a good job in the new Spider-Man up. with that though, by just mentioning kind of like lightly those villains. Well, that's what they try to do in Amazing Spider-Man uh, two. Remember when they were just mentioning like the Sinister Six and everything? And yeah, all that all one was like, though. Was I think they were trying to set up. And then you know that kind of sucks too that they had like this years of planning for like all these other movies and now they're just kind. Like we'll just throw those out the door and we'll go with Marvel now at the homecoming. Wait, this is published in April. Okay. Might be that one. There was trailer five. On oh, that YouTube one. Right there if you go in the corner. Most likely trailer five. Wait, wait. Oh, yep. That's a lot of trailers. When did that come out? Published on September 4th. Oh, yeah, so that's pretty fairly new. This looks all the same, though. This looks just faster. Yeah, I think I did see this trailer. They're showing this on okay. TV now. Yeah. Looks pretty good, though. Even, I, you know. So, wait, are there. This video is like way longer. It's just probably more trailers. <laughs> yep. Dun, 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 December. We just have Star Wars, huh? Yep. We're counting down to the end of the year. Oh, uh, we got uh, supposedly. Uh, I think about Christmas. They got an. Uh, what should we call it? Nightmare Before Christmas too. I heard. Wow, that'll be crazy. After how long now? You know, not in the nineties, right? So I think 1990. so. I want to say ninety nine. I want to say ninety seven because it would be cool to have a twenty year anniversary thing. Yeah. It wouldn't be. But it just had an anniversary a couple years ago. That would be crazy. Right, All right, let's year. see. Nightmare before Christmas. I think you're right, though. I want it to be nineteen ninety seven, though. And then the Magic School Bus, if anybody's a Wow, fan. 93. Oh, We're shit. both way off. It is already well over uh, 20 years old. Yeah, well, like I say, the Magic School Bus is coming back again, too. I so saw that, but I heard a lot of different reviews. Like, like, some well, people it's were, like, a totally different uh, animation style. Well, it's I not saw even that, drama, of but course. It's, it's animated, it's animated. Yeah, animated. but, I mean, what do, you, what do you expect in 2017? Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to is be about... Is it going to be like the other one? That's what I want to know. Is yeah. it going to be about science and well, did, children did you see the trailer? Getting... I did not, actually. Oh, well, you okay. should watch the trailer. We're watching more trailers, we'll people. We'll watch trailer of uh, Magic wait, wait, School let's Bus. Check the, uh, oh, seen shoot, the new it's one. Luis. What's up, Luis? How you been? Uh, I forgot we got to look at comments, too. Uh, new Eric Foreman is Venom. Worst decision in history. Yeah, that There's was There's one on Marvel Entertainment YouTube channel that dropped like an hour ago. Same trailer with a couple things yeah, added. Yeah, you should probably go to Marvel, Marvel Entertainment Entertainment's YouTube. Uh, actual YouTube channel. Marvel Entertainment YouTube. Thank you for the uh, shouts, 
Si, that's awesome. Trailer reaction. <laughs> How's it been? What's up, Alex, my man? Hey. Good to see you. Oh, we're going to see. Oh, that might be the contender spot, but we're just going to go. We're going to go look. Coach has gone to videos, too, but it takes a while. We're streaming, and it's, and it's meh. This, it's good, but I, I'm streaming and this laptop doesn't get good Wi-Fi back here. Um, I've seen uh, they have oh, this wow. uh, orchestra that they're having here soon, United too. VR? Wait, there's a United VR and Humans trailer that dropped, too, as well as a Marvel 101. Man, they drop a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've seen all, I watch all these little claymation ones. <laughs> Those are pretty cool to watch. Yeah, they did a new one for the Venomverse, Venomverse one. <laughs> which is cool. All right, we're going to do the actual trailer reaction. And then, yeah, they do those, like, 101 trailers. Is like, it a new trailer then or no? It wasn't the one that we saw, but we're going to watch the new one right now, I guess, which is only got 46 seconds. So maybe we did watch it. It might have been the actual new one, which I think it had, like, them throwing yeah. something at Loki think, and then yeah. a couple other things I didn't see in the other ones. Loading, 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 raw hide. <laughs> oh, and then we have uh, also. I see. I knew there was some more movies coming in October. The Texas Chainsaw, the Leatherface oh, yeah. movie. I and I feel like there's one. There's more. probably a ton more, but I just put, go and like my mind revolves around comic book movies, and everything else comes second. <laughs> yeah, horror movies are pretty up there for me too. I like though. horror movies. My thing is, I haven't been scared of a horror movie in a quite a while. Oh, I don't. I don't like to get scared. I just like to go for it. Oh, looking. oh well maybe if I turn off HD that would help <laughs> we'll go 360 we don't need to be fancy pantsy oh no it did not switch oh no it did switch I decide when to play have you been watching Preacher? I have not I have to get back into watching it I think I'm on episode 2 Preacher or three, so. is this new season, I'll tell you right now, hands down, is the most weirdest show <laughs> I've ever seen. But is it accurate? <laughs> well, you've read the original Preacher comic, right? No, I've actually never read the original. Really? But I read the, uh, when I went to my comic shop one day, they had a uh, free preview of it one day. So they actually had the first uh, issues, uh, or maybe it cool. been the first two issues of it. And yeah, I got to read, I didn't even know Tulip was a... Uh, supposed to be white and they made her black in this one but I, I like the character they picked for anyways in the show my thing is that stuff doesn't really matter no. I didn't even said I was more concerned about them getting the vampire right and I was like uh, apparently we're not getting that loaded so I'm just not trying not mess stuff up or maybe it's because I'm in two spots at once I'm not sure either way guess we're not doing the trailer react for either I just Those like that still. preacher plays a lot on like religion but like not in the way you would think it play it, it tries to like twist it a little bit in like its own way Definitely. but it's it's good i i mean i have you read the whole the mm -hmm. whole comic okay so what did you think of the whole comic so then? uh it was a really good comic uh the ending being a little mm. see like because in the show you know like you know they don't show the actual angel i mean I'm in the comic in the first issues they already show genesis and everything but uh they haven't shown him in the show or anything, so there's a kind of... I mean, they kind of do, but that's, uh, it's not like they use him all the time in the comic. You never see him. It's all about, uh... I forget his name. It's, but it's all about the guy. Like, it's not yeah, really Jesse. about Genesis. Yeah, Jesse. It's not really about Genesis. Like, Genesis is like a side story that, like, helps kind of progress through his story. Like, it's really weird, at least in the comic book. So in the comic book, is there, is there, I just want to make sure this is true. Did they really have Jesus' uh, Jesus's grandson in there? Jesus' grandson? Yeah, all messed up. They might have just added that in there. Cause that's I think they the, might have added that. Though, yeah, Charles. because I... Bro, because I... <laughs> I told you, it goes into some really... Yeah, I, don't I think they do some extra stuff, stuff which is cool. Show, I'll have to watch it. goes it. into some weird... Oh, man, I forgot. Places. <laughs> we just released a post on the page. Uh, I believe it's a new meme. We'll take a look. Show me the meme. You have to read the comic book. I'll have to pick... Is it, it, it's not a, is it a long book mm, or a story? I mean, kind of. How many of, trades would you say they probably put I out forgot. for? It? Uh, maybe like 50, I think, or 60. Oh, wow. 50 trades. Or 50 issues? 50 issues. Okay. Or chapters. Wow. 
all good chapters. Okay. So maybe the I mean maybe a two hundred okay. page. I oh. think. Maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. It might be a little more than that actually. It's been a while. <laughs> it hasn't been actually. I read it again when Dylan died, but. Oh yeah, Steve Dylan. Yeah, not too long ago. Yeah, it was not at all. It was very, very recent. I and remember you know, he had just I was reading his Punisher because uh, he was just drawing for them too. When I was reading the new mm -hmm. issue, he was drawing, and uh, yeah, he, yeah, he kills it. Yeah, he does. He does a good job. He makes he is, does a good job of making things seem kind of crazy and messed up. Even that, I don't know if you remember that scene too. Even that last page turn there where he shows that old looking lady. Yeah. That was a good like. Uh, he just he knows how to get like really like unique different characters yeah I really did like that one it was really crazy so I'm trying to find the thing but I think it's a Batman Superman and Alfred meme where it's just like here you are you got tea I didn't even see Alfred give it to me that's his superpower <laughs> <laughs> it's like and I think the fact is like Alfred is so good at giving tea that even Superman doesn't see him do it I'm blowing it out of proportion, but it's Alfred and I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. Uh, so we're kind of winding down here probably to the end of this show. Just because we're on a another one of those slow days and we're having Izzy here, so I don't want to keep him here too long. But uh, if there's anything anyone wants to ask here in the last seconds, we'll be doing a little bit of breakdown. <laughs> I didn't on even stuff. see Luis there. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Luis. Oh, that's great. But yeah, no, I think it went pretty well this episode. You know, the it topic is good. You know, we've talked about a lot of the different comic stuff, yeah. video games, movies. I really just can't wait for it tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna be so great! I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome, like on every level. Yeah, much. I think it will be good. I mean, if Stephen King himself said that, you know, this is good. Go see it. That that's telling you something. The guy who wrote the book. <laughs> yeah, the guy who wrote the book usually has a pretty good grasp on what it's supposed to be like. But I'm biased in that regard. So maybe, you know. <laughs> we'll see. He, we'll see how it goes. You know, I, I've fi almost finished the whole book. I mean, it's like, like a thousand two hundred page book. It's a and, huge. And book. I'm barely like on seven hundred. And I, I, you know, I'm gonna not finish it anyways because there. Are, I've heard that it's only gonna be the first part anyway. So, and I've already finished the first part of the book. So, we'll have to see where they make their cut though. Cause yeah, I want to see how it's gonna way. like. Yeah, because I don't know if they'll maybe they might pull from this. Well, I think because I can't remember what book it is, but I think it was like one of the Lord of the Rings does that. It's like stops before the end of one book actually ends, or after the end of one book actually ends. And just because it has better plot, like consistency, or like a better cliffhanger, yeah. or some shit. I do like that they're adding some of the more creatures that were in the book that they didn't show in the mini or TV series that came out in 1999. That's cool. Um, like the leper. I don't know if you've yeah. seen him in the trailer. You'll see him for, frankly, real quick. There's a leper chasing one of the kids because one of the kids is very scared of uh, lepers. lepers. I mean, he's very... Uh, he doesn't want to contract leprosy. If yeah, I correctly. yeah, and then uh, his mom kind of, you know, makes him feel like he's very sick and very weak all and the time unclean. and he's taking a bunch of, he takes a bunch of pills and he has Does an he aspirator. Does he wash his hands a bunch too or something? Uh, I don't think he really washes his hands. He just takes a lot of pills and so his mom makes him feel like, you know, he's weak a very sick, sick person. Yeah. So he, leprosism, you know, scares the shit out of him. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I can't wait though, dude. There's going to be so much great. The werewolf one is going to be awesome. Yeah, I hope they do the werewolves in there. I hope they, I mean, some of the things that they were scared of, like, but you know, that's why I said, if they're going to do the 1980s, I wonder if they'll keep some of those monsters, because in the 1950s, you know, the, the, those were the original monsters that they were coming out, because you have Dracula, he takes the form of, he takes the form of the mummy, mm -hmm. he takes the form of a werewolf. Really, all the universal monsters. Yeah, so I wonder if they're going to keep up with the... I don't know if they theme. will, just because of rights. I mean, nowadays. the leper, like I said, is in there, but... And then they do have the blood scene, where... Uh, Cause she's a scared of pipes. I forget. I don't know how that scene goes either. But yeah, yeah she, they I think the, she wasn't she afraid of getting sucked through the pipe or yeah, something. Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, that, that's they that, have that in there too. But like There's I said, I wonder stuff. if they will have the the werewolf mummy and it's oh, it's, and even Frankenstein. Yeah, shows that's right. up in there, there too. Was, they had all right. of them because it was that one kid who was afraid of all. Of them. But that was like that. We'll have to see. We'll only know tomorrow. Yeah, we'll only know tomorrow. Let's see but, how it turns out. Yeah, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you helping me fill in while uh, Leo's busy taking care of puzzles. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, Leo fun. will probably be back next week, and he'll be in the comments. But hopefully, we'll get you by again for guest spot sometime. Yeah, that works. And uh, 
you know, as always, I'll see you tomorrow for it. Yeah, we'll have to do this up. Uh, you know, and just keep doing the comic book thing because it's the lifestyle. Uh huh. It always will be. And even until I'm 40, I'm still going to be reading. But <laughs> I'm not making it past 40. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So for now, we're going to hop off. I uh, know it's another hour cast, but once again, before we go, thanks to our patrons who support us on patreon.com slash comic combos. That includes uh, Cy Kennedy, Tyler Lockridge, Susie Marie, Kevin Schrute, and Mikey Neve. Thanks, and later. Later, guys. <laughs> Just where my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. 